the situation that we faced in the province in regard to... Uh... When MTV News in Lay met with the program advisor for education almost three weeks ago, the PPA said the delay was with the Teachers Service Commission and the Education Department in Port Moresby for not approving the teachers' position numbers on time. Jerome returned from Port Moresby to Lay last week with the teachers' position numbers for 110 teachers of Lay District that was given by the Education Department and approved by the Teachers Service Commission. Jerome said they are now waiting for the appointment officer for the province, Paul Tayang, to verify the position so the teachers can be put back on the payroll. So the first part of the solution was done, and the second part of the solution is to have them input on the, on the payroll. The third part is the time taken for the process to process, the process, to process their applications. So it's no longer an issue, it's already taken care of. Um, it's just only appointment officer to come and verify these positions as soon as they are verified. I will not hesitate to sign them and instruct them, uh, the salary people to have them input in the payroll. Almost three weeks ago, more than 100 teachers of Morobe, especially from Lay District, were frustrated for not being paid for six fortnights because they were not given their teaching position numbers. On the 11th of June, they gathered at the Provincial Education Office and demanded an explanation from the PPA for Education and the appointment officer for the delay. If they need to go and get the created positions in Port Mosby from the TSC, they need to do it fast and put us on the payroll. That's one. Number two, they need to check all the positions in the province, those that are not occupied, and uh, give us those positions. The appointment officer has to check the DEM in its districts, check the inspectors in its districts to find out which positions are not occupied and are vacant there or the schools that have been closed or demoted, the positions are vacant there. Check it out properly and give it to us. MTV News in Lay met with the program advisor for education, Keith Jiram, and the appointment officer, Paul Tayang, on the same day and got their responses. If only the Teaching Service Commission, if only the Department of Education, if only the responsible officers down with the Department of Education are able to do their work honestly, we wouldn't face this situation. And what we faced here, I'm not going to sift the bulk, but I must honestly point out, it's a nationwide issue. Once teachers are off the payroll, and they are not on the payroll, like now others are off the payroll for six four nine. They, once their positions are sorted out, they will still be backdated to the auto suspension period. They will still get the backdates. The teachers without teaching positions include seven teachers, teachers released from other schools and new graduates. According to Jiram, most teachers were teaching on borrowed positions. Now we have the positions already registered. We're going to slot those teachers into those positions correctly belong to them and we free up we free up those positions borrow positions and there are those who are left over we will slowly slot them into those positions and there all our moral teachers are taken care of. Julie Badui Owa National MTV News Lay